so as it is with Puffy, the same thing will start happening within the Christian faith. God is giving his people divine justice. Every scandal to be uncovered. Do not be, do not be surprised what you're about to see. Don't be surprised. God is tired of the nonsense. God is saying, do not be surprised that over the next five to 10 years, and even starting in 2024, that there shall be a great falling away because there shall be leaders who were once great, they're gonna fall to nothing. This content was created for the Marketplace Chamber LLC by its owner, Tarsha Howard, as a social justice initiative to bring awareness to the emotional, financial, and spiritual abuse of the members of our community that suffer silently at the hands of faith-based leaders who abuse their leadership positions and cause harm and danger to those they should care for under their leadership. The abuse of power by spiritual leaders in our communities must stop now. Hallelujah. Today is April the 17th, 2024. Today is April the 17th, 2024. And I'm coming to you right now with some thoughts that I'm having about a very disturbing interview. I don't know if it, I don't even know it should be called an interview. Do you know the state of the black church is basically at a point where it looks like a circus? Let me say that again. The state of the black church right now, it looks like a circus. I just watched the most disgusting, troubling interview between Larry Reed and a man by the name of William McRae. Larry Reed and William McRae. And why am I saying that the interview was disgusting? I'm going to tell you why now. Number one, black women, black women make up most of the demographic in the black church. Black women make up most of the demographic on this man, Larry Reed's platform. Black women have made up most of the demographic of people who actually support the cult of Larry Reed. And so, and have also, in my opinion, contributed to him becoming, from what I have just learned, a millionaire during the pandemic. And so, as I watched this very disgusting and vulgar interview, I watched this man named William McCray sit on Larry's platform with the permission of Larry, call black women whores, call the children of black women bastards. I also watched this man basically degrade darker skinned black people, all while giggling and laughing and calling himself a member of the Kojic church denomination. I sat there and I listened very, very disgusted as this man, William McRae, was allowed to degrade black people, degrade a man by the name of Carlton Pearson who has gone home to be with the Lord, and Larry Reed sat there and allowed all of this behavior to continue on on his platform. And by the way, kept reiterating that they must do another show. Let me say this. People of God, you better learn to seek God for yourself. Let me say that again. People of God, you better seek God for yourself. There was nothing comical. There was nothing funny. And if that is what you've called entertainment, then you need to go and seek psychiatric help. 
Let me say that again. If you found that entertaining, you need to go seek psychiatric help. First of all, you have two gay men, and I'm going to say it like that. Two gay men on a platform expressing how their personalities are that of mean church mothers. Do you know that the the attitude of the mean church mother is a toxic, demonic cycle that needs to be broken? And here you have two gay men who are, number one, in denial of admitting that they're both gay, sitting on Larry Reed's platform, admitting that their personality is that of a mean church mother. The personality of the mean church mother, if you don't know, is a toxic mentality. And in the black church, it's accepted to be abused. It's accepted to think that when someone is insulting you, that you are supposed to take that type of abuse. And so here you have the man, William McCray, sitting on Larry's platform, degrading everybody, calling people drug addicts, disrespecting women, and Larry sits there. Now, you do you want to know what I found very disgusting? Larry sat on his platform raising all this money and this is where the fake phony church behavior comes in and which which is why I never fit into the church because I find their behavior so fake and phony. Number 1, before I get to what I'm about to say, Larry is fake and phony. And then you have him sitting there with William McCray and they both look fake and phony. And then here you have Larry Reed raised money for Carlton Pearson and gave this big elaborate um, memorial, right? And had people paying extra money to go into his Patreon or to sign up. I think you had to sign up to be in his Patreon to view the service, right? He made this whole big thing about Carlton Pearson. He went over there to Carlton Pearson's house when he was on his deathbed. Him and Bishop Jordan taking pictures, posting it online. And apparently, I think he has a interview that's yet to be released of him and Carlton Pearson when Carlton Pearson was on his deathbed. If you love your friend, Carlton Pearson, who has gone on to be with the Lord, What type of friend allows another man to come on their platform and publicly disrespect the family of your so-called friend who you raised money for to have a funeral? Something is wrong with this picture. And this is why, this is why people are not taking the church serious. This is why... Um, It's now being said by Ty Tribbett that the church is whack. Now, let me just say this. Although Larry has his platform and, you know, he tries to depict this persona that he has separated from the church. But no, he still has the disgusting spirit that has kept the church toxic. And how can you call yourself a friend, but you have people throwing your friends under the bus? And so the reason why I'm even doing this recording tonight is because for this one simple fact, when you bring someone in your midst and they continue to insult and degrade people and you say nothing, You are in agreement with what they are saying. Let me say that again. When you bring someone in your midst and you are complacent with what they are saying, that means you agree with what they say. Larry sat there and watched this disgusting man who looked like a cross between Maddie Moss Clark, Michael Jackson, 
and probably the Crip Keeper degrade how women look when he looks a hot mess. He calls his look eccentric. So let me just say this. You have people that sit there and they find this type of rhetoric entertaining. And this is why we as a people, black people, will never get ahead. The crabs in the barrel. I don't care if a woman has had a baby out of wedlock. I don't care if, um, you know, she has multiple children out of wedlock. What gives someone else the right to call that woman's children a bunch of bastards? Whores. And the vulgarity just continued and continued. And Larry Reed just sat there. And let me tell you what I found very interesting. The man William McRae proceeded to talk about people who molest children. Larry had the nerve to say that people who molest children must have a mental illness. So let me just say this. Larry Reed has had allegations that he um, groomed and allegedly had a sexual relationship with Levantre Andrews when he was a minor. And so do you know what I noticed about Larry Reed today? Larry Reed does have some type of mental illness. And it's the type of mental illness where it's almost as though he doesn't grasp the reality of who he is. Number one, he doesn't want to publicly admit that he is a gay man because he feels like it's nobody's business. But actually, it is everybody's business as a leader because people need to know who they are following. And that also goes with your sexuality. And when you keep things like that a secret, that is deception. That's number one. Number two... Larry is disgustingly hypersexual and everything that he talks about, it always has to rear back to the homosexual lifestyle. And it's almost as though because he has been brought up in family trauma that surrounds sexual abuse, It's almost as though those who are in the public have to just accept the dysfunction. Let me say this, people of God. The show that I watched tonight was so filthy and disgusting that I cannot believe that people actually find this type of information information entertaining now for me i'm watching it for reach for research purposes only let me say that again i am watching for research purposes only why i am watching how people will follow people because of their personality and no matter what the person does You have people that will windmill for a predator, for a groomer. The level of dysfunction that was displayed, I don't really know if people are trying to either build a relationship with God or they're trying to build relationships with personalities. Larry Reed sat there And listen to this man, William McRae, degrade black women. Not only did he sit there and listen to him degrade black women, he also allowed him to continue to 
degrade black people. All while he's admitting, claiming that he doesn't like interracial relationships. Now, how psychotic is it that the man William McCray will sit there and say that his grandmother would do the paperback test and he openly admitted that he doesn't like dark-skinned black people but at the same time he's racist against white people can someone please make it make sense and Larry who is a dark-skinned black man sat there and allowed William McRae to go on with this racist disgusting colorist rhetoric on his platform and then we want to know why Ty Tribbett says the church is whack how whack is it that women who make up most of the demographic of the church especially the black church continues to be disrespected the black woman is the most disrespected woman in America. And who said that? Malcolm X. Larry Reed claims to, to, what does he say? Protect black women. But he allowed the man William McCray to sit on his platform and disrespect black women one insult after another. But I'm going to tell you this, people of God. God is not pleased. And I will continue to do these audios until the manifestation of the prophecy that the Lord shows me comes to pass. I am not going to release it until until God tells me to release it. So far, I've only seen it in a vision, in a dream. What you are witnessing on social media is not God. What you are watching are people's egos and God is not pleased. What you are watching is people who think that, and I'm, no, who I'm going to talk about now is Larry. Someone who God has utilized social media to give them a voice And to become an influencer and to also become prosperous financially. But how many of you know that just as quick as God can raise you up, God can bring you down. And I'm going to tell you something. It's not going to be vloggers that come out with their commentary like what I am doing right now. That is going to be the downfall of Larry Reed. It's not even going to be people continuing to come out with allegations. And then um, what will he do? He will gaslight. He will have people windmilling for him to try to make the person look like they're a liar. The person who is going to bring down and stop all of this nonsense is going to be God Almighty. Because God is the one. He is the righteous judge. He sits up high and he looks down low. And how interesting Larry, Cla- Larry Reed claims that he's into African spirituality and the African diaspora. But you allowed a man who looks like a freak science project sit on your platform who, who actually he's disrespecting women all while wanting to look like a woman with long nails. Um, What was that? A lace wig. And here you are disrespecting the very demographic of people who give $8.88, the black woman. And so I came on here tonight to do this recording because I just felt led to say something. We as a people are the only people that allow ourselves to be abused by each other. When I came on YouTube, before anybody knew who I was, they 
basically um, attacked and cyberbullied me. Why? Because this is what black people do to each other. They attack and they abuse people. They, they will hurt each other before they try to figure out who the person is. And then you have people right now, because I am creating content about my thoughts and my commentary about Larry Reed, coming in my comments, challenging me, telling me what I should be doing. I am not on anyone's side. I am on the side of righteousness. So if you decide to come in my comments to try to tell me what to do, you do not have permission to come over here to tell me what to do. I am commissioned and ordained by God to say what thus says the Lord, not what thus says social media. And God is not the author of confusion. What I saw tonight was nothing but a bunch of confusion. I see two men who are confused about their identity. They were either molested as children or something happened along the way and they're confused about their sexuality or perhaps they know their sexuality and they want to try to confuse the public. But I'm going to tell you this, people of God. Why, when are we going to stop abusing each other? When does the gaslighting stop? And what I find very surprising is that the women who support Larry Reed, they will continue to sit there and justify the actions that are abusive. Disgusting and abrasive language towards women and towards children who were born out of wedlock. Through the lips of a, of a homosexual gay man who is confused about his his identity on a platform with another gay man who continues to lie and gaslight about his sexuality. God is not the author of confusion, but I am going to release a prophetic word to all of those who support both of these individuals. You are accountable for who you support and who you follow. And you are an enabler to the abuse. You are an enabler to the ongoing confusion that is being released through social media at the sake of this is God. I'm going to tell you right now what I saw tonight was not God. It was nothing but demonic behavior. Let me say that again. It was nothing but demonic behavior. The level of hatred that I saw coming from the man, William McCray towards women was disgusting. And for all those who continue to support these types of people, God is going to show you in a very peculiar way why you are going to be held accountable. But I'm not shocked because we live in a time and an hour where people are not praying and people are not fasting. People want quick fix entertainment. They want to go in Patreon and sow seeds, but they don't want to do the work. They want to Rely on a personality instead of praying and fasting for themselves and seeking God. And so for all of you who are over there sowing $8.88, you're sowing into the realm of dysfunction, chaos. You're sowing into a realm of, what is it? Deception. And so... 
this is the beginning of something that God is going to show his mighty hand. And you're going to remember this recording. God is not pleased. Whatsoever a man sowed, that shall he also reap, says the Lord my God. And to all those who continue to support Larry Reed and his dysfunction, you're going to reap that which you are sowing into. When you sow into corruption, you shall reap corruption. And woe to the pastors who continue to scatter the sheep. The level of disgust that I saw tonight, I could feel the Holy Spirit being grieved. And then you have the people who, you know, they're just always in the flesh. So they love that type of commentary. But when do you draw the line when you start disrespecting women and children, calling women whores? calling children bastards and then you had the host of the show just kept it going for three hours the level of insults was preposterous and disgusting it was very denigrating and very salacious and then you have the vloggers they want to be like Larry Reed so you know You got a a small select few who will not say anything. They're going to hold him up in his dysfunction. They're going to take his side and say, you know, Larry should have never did the show. You know what Larry needs to do? Larry needs to stop lying. And when you align yourself with someone who disgusts me and degrades women, that is the beginning of your downfall. And then you had the beginning of the show where he openly admits that they're like two mean church mothers. As if that image is positive. It's a toxic negative energy. And so people of God, I will continue to release these recordings as the spirit leads me. But I am for the righteousness of the kingdom and I am for social justice. Black women are continuously abused in our community. And here you have two gay men sitting on a platform allowing gay black women to be disrespected once again. And Larry sits there and he says nothing. In my opinion, it was like, which side are you on? And then you allow this man to disrespect Carlton Pearson's family. And then you have the negative people in the chat saying, well, he's going on to be with the Lord. This is not a big deal. Do you want to know why Larry, and I'm so glad that the Lord pulled me from over there because I used to be in Larry's Patreon and over the last like three to four months, there were some things that Larry was saying that was irritating me and disgusting me. But I said, you know, Lord, I'm going to just see, I'm going to see. And Lord was like, no, after Vincent released that audio, that was like the final straw. And I walked away from the Patreon And whatever. And so now I only look at Larry, and I'm going to reiterate this for those who want to come over here and troll in my chat the negative black women who want to continue to um, harass me on YouTube because you have nothing else better to do. You come over here in my comments, and when I click on your profile, you don't have no content. You're a troll. He is now another case study for me. Why? Because I find it very, very disturbing that with all of the allegations of 
sexual, alleged sexual uh, grooming and allegedly being a pedophile, you still have so many naive black women that support his platform. But I'm telling you right now, people of God, God is not pleased. And you want to know what I love about my God? I'm talking about my God, not the God that some of y'all out here serving. Not Larry's God. I'm talking about the God that I serve. I'm talking about the same God who allowed Bishop Lamar Whitehead to be exposed. And now he's being, um, he has been convicted. I'm talking about that God that seeks divine justice on behalf of The people who have been victimized. I'm talking about that God. The same God that that allowed justice to be served on behalf of Pauline Anderson. The women who have been crying at night that reached out to me. That allegedly gave Lamar Whitehead $500 for that fake real estate class. And he never returned anything in return. The same God who allowed Eddie Long to be exposed. This is the God that I'm praying to, to deal with this whole Larry Reed situation. Because I'm going to tell you something. There are many gods out here, but there's only one true and living God. And I don't care who comes over here mad, upset. I am not sold out to a personality. I am sold out to God. Okay. I'm not, I am not selective on who is going to get this work of scam for Jesus. Lose your soul. Anybody can get it. Anybody can end up on scam for Jesus. Lose your soul. But this is the point of tonight's recording. Well, this morning, because it's 1237 a.m. When you start finding toxic and negative commentary as entertainment. And you're up there laughing when a man calls a black woman's child a bastard. But these are the same black women that go to church with their children, with no father, and they scrape up $100 to put in the plate because they believe in that if they sow that seed, God going to bless them with a bigger house for their children. This is the same same what type of woman that when you sit on your platform and you ask for $8.88, they said, you know what? I'm supposed to take and buy my baby lunch tomorrow, but I'm going to take this $8 and 88 cent because I believe in Larry Reed. But yet the black woman has been once again, openly disrespected. And this is what I find very offensive. You have two effeminate, I'm going to use the word effeminate men sitting down there on a platform. One degrading black women and the other one allowing black women to be degraded because he didn't interject to say anything to stop the interview. He didn't go on a commercial break. He just let this man with a wig and nails talk about black women all the while, all while he's sitting up there trying to look like Maddie Morse Clark with long nails on looking like a science project that went wrong in the lab. And so as I close out this recording, people of God, I want to tell you something. You are responsible for who you support. And I'm going to tell you this. Remember this recording is April the 17th, 2024. When things start transpiring, do not be surprised at what you are about to see. There are going to be a string of events that's going to transpire. And I'm going to tell you who is going to be the orchestrator of everything. So you so you don't be blaming nobody. Oh, this vlogger, that vlogger don't like Larry. This is all going to be orchestrated by God. 
God is not pleased with none of this. And when God is not pleased with something, he sends his true prophets on the scene to ex- to bring exposure. I'm not here to be on nobody's side. I am the mouthpiece of God. And I will continue to say what thus says the Lord. At some point, things come to an end. And why does God make them come to an end? When his people are being hurt. God was there last year. Not pleased with all of the madness going on on YouTube because of a man named Larry Reed and the whole Levantre situation. And now more accusers have come out. God is not pleased. And I'm going to tell you this before I close out. Pride comes before the fall. There's coming a time and an hour where the pride of a man is going to be their downfall. And that time, I believe, has come now. My name is Tasha Global. This is another episode of Scam for Jesus. Lose your soul. I pray that all of you use discernment. And going forward, when you watch somebody, I need you to watch as well as pray and ask God, why am I watching this person? Because a lot of things, it starts with you. And I need you to ask God to open up your spiritual eye so that you will have sight beyond sight to see beyond the laughing beyond the giggling and to begin to see what is lying behind all of the laughing, the giggling, the joking. And when you ask God to open up your spiritual eye, you are going to be very surprised. Watch as well as pray because Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I pray that you all are blessed. I pray that you all choose wisely. Now I have repented and told God, I am sorry for supporting Larry Reed, because if I would have known that he was an alleged child pedophile and groomer, I would have never supported his platform and I would have never joined his Patreon. But The Bible says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And so I am glad that better late than never. And as I now know what I know, I'm going to continue to be a voice. I don't care if I make these videos and only one person listen. I will continue to be a voice against those who continue to abuse their leadership. Those who are sitting around becoming a problem instead of a solution. This is a social justice initiative and I pray 